Hello and welcome back to the HB channel. Today we're gonna talk about an ancient breed which dates back 5000 years ago in the territory of Fertile Crescent. Pejdar dog, it is a descendant of Sumerian dog. Those dogs are reflecting in the carving of ancient civilization, frequent in Mesopotamia. In appearance, the carving show a large dog, which possess the phenotype of modern mastiffs, but the difference is they date back 2500 years before Christ. They appear in the ziggurat of Iraq as a huge dog with an extraordinary physique. Their height reach it at the level of the belly of the adult man, which hold them by the rope. They are monstrous dog. They appear in the carving as a war dog. Dogs which used in the past to attack and to fight with exotic beasts or in the fight with each other as a gladiator. This is an old tradition, heritage from Fertile Crescent. Those monstrous dogs with an antiquity of 5000 years continue to be found in the territory of Iraq, Anatolia, Iran and Azerbaijan. Local people call them as the Pejdar or Kurdish Mastiff because those territory is known as a Kurdistan. In antiquity, those territory was called Mesopotamia. The extent of those territory was close related between two rivers, Tiger and Euphrates, that give birth those ancient civilization. When we comparison carving thousands of years ago with the Page Dar dog, we see an extraordinary anatomical resemble to those dogs, which express in anatomical posture, head size and the shape, in the body structure, in the body size, with a special feature, which is the dewlap, which start from under jaw and continue by connect the neck with the chest. We found the dewlap in the carving artifact 2500 years BC and in the Mastiff of Kurdistan. Those features have preserved the authentic of those dogs, which we heritage in modern time. The Pejdar deserve the title as one of the ancient dog breed in the world. There were and they still are specially prized for its high stamina while fighting external threats, especially against wild animals and other dogs. Those dogs have an old tradition, Sumer and other ancient civilization of Mesopotamia. Breed those dogs to be powerful and tough, using them in the bloody sport, starting with hunting, and after use them as a gladiator. Those dogs has fought with exotic animals like tiger and lion and after they use in the dogfight. Those performances were intended to entertain the crowd and specially to entertain the aristocracy or elite in that time. Those dogs were kept in royal courts and were guardian of mansion in antiquity. 
Their origin was from primitive shepherd dog. But in contrast to the shepherd dog, selection to be aggressive and huge size made this line to be non-functional for nomadic livestock and switch them to a line of a war dog. Today in the region of Kurdistan, those dogs are used sporadically as livestock guardian dog because shepherd prefer lighter and faster dog. Physical feature of Kurdish Pejdar those dog has a fish-like body, broader at the chest and narrower at the waist, which enable it to twist and turn at high speed, irrespectively of a huge frame. The coats of Kurdish Massif can be yellow, white, red, black and tan, black, Those dog has low skin, which is characteristic of them, reckless and large dewlap. Ears are soft and floppy. Eyes are oval. Their head is very big. The lips are hanging. Those breed is characterized by robust jaw. The muzzle are shorter than the head. The legs are thick and powerful, characterized by solid bones. Kurdish page their size. Males can weigh between 50 to 90 kg. Even they cross 100 kg, but it's very rare. Females can be 45 to 80 kg. The height of the dogs at the shoulder is between 75 to 90 cm for the male and for the female is 70 to 80 cm. The Kurdish Mastiff live at 9 to 13 years old is the average. If those dogs are used in the combat, their expand lifespan is reduced 6 to 8 years. Dog fight in Kurdistan is still an old tradition. This was all for the day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share and see you in the next week.